Um, it's going to be a couple of different videos over the next couple of weeks, obviously with everything that's going on. Um, kids being off school, uh, being off work, wife being off work. Um, so I've been relegated to the shed. So a lot of the videos are going to be coming from the uh, from the shed. Um, just wanted to show off a couple of things. Um, this is something a bit different. Not very many videos of this online. Um, this is a Polish meter uh, from the Cold War period. Um, from the late 70s, they started making these up until the late uh, 80s. Uh, this unit is from 1982. It's called the RS-70. Um, quite different as a, a meter, as in it doesn't have a display. Um, it really only has a uh, light and a buzzer from the speaker here um, and it's set to warn you at different intervals so they're quite high so I have nothing that will actually set this off but as you can see here uh, W is off, K is a test and then we have 0 0.5, 5 and 30 and that's measuring Ronkin so we have 0.5 Ronkin, we have 5 Ronkin and we have 30 Ronkin so the way you would work it is you would turn it on to test the red light would flash to let you know that the bulb is working and then we have this little indicator in here to show you the pulse. Now, there is also a buzzer, which I will turn on quite quickly. So that's very annoying and you definitely won't miss that. So if we turn to the first setting, 0.5. So if this isn't making any noise or the buzzer isn't flashing, you know that the radiation level is below 0.5 Ronkin. But if the light starts to flash and the buzzer starts to go off, or you can, you know, you can flick between the two, uh, you turn it to the next setting. So if the buzzer and the light then go off, you know that the radiation level is above 0.5 Ronkin, but below 5 Ronkin. So as you can see, it's a bit of a touch and go thing with this. So if you're on 5 Ronkin and the light and the buzzer then do sound, you switch to 30. And if the light and the buzzer stay off, you know that you're above 5 but less than 30. And there's quite a difference between 5 Ronkin and 30 Ronkin. So you're then relying on other meters to do that. So essentially, if that registers anything, I mean, really, if this registers 0.5 Ronkin, you know, you don't want to be sticking around. If it's registering 5 Ronkin, you really don't want to be sticking around. And if it's registering 30 Ronkin, you're probably dead anyway, but you really don't want to be around. So quite an interesting meter. Uh, the fact it doesn't have a display and it has these set points is quite interesting. Um, you know, it's not measuring counts or anything like that there. So you're, you're not really getting any audible, uh, you know, sense of what the radiation level is. All of that ridiculously annoying speaker. Um, you know, and that's really only, you know, that's an audible warning of when it's reached that set level. So quite interesting. Um, you'll pick these up for about 25, 30 quid. Um, you get them in a sort of a styrofoam packaging container with some um, extra seals and things like that there. And also you get two uh, little banana plugs for plugging in here. Um, so you can run it off an external six volt. Um, just runs off a couple of D cell batteries. But yeah, nice little unit. And um, I don't know if some point I'll ever get something that runs off 0.5 Ronkin. I might um, be able to find something. Obviously, that's 0.5 in gamma radiation only. It doesn't it doesn't run on beta. But uh, yeah, something different. And uh, I'll be doing a little uh, demonstration of some of these bits of equipment. Obviously, I've got a Victorine um, CDV 700. I've got an Irish Civil Defence meter there. Um, I've got a PDRM82 and the PDRM82M which is basically the military version of this. It's, uh, it's green rather than being orange. And then I've, uh, I've got this NE Technologies meter here, um, which is an updated version of the uh, Radiac meter um, from very early on in the Cold War. And then I've got a couple of uh, bits of uranonite there, pitch blend, um, quite a few bits. In fact, this bit here is very, very, very hot. Um, and I'll do a demonstration of that later in the week. But as usual, thanks for watching. Hope everybody's okay. And remember, stay indoors. Bye-bye.